Hey there, it's Shauna. I hope you're doing good. In this video, I'm going to share with you a few tips on how to use the energy of Mercury retrograde so that instead of feeling frustrated or stuck or confused, you feel a sense of freedom and ultimately a sense of clarity on what it is that the universe is asking of you at this point in time. So Mercury goes retrograde a few times throughout the year. We do have a retrograde that's coming up in January 2016, and this is happening January 5th through January 25th. When Mercury goes retrograde, it's a chance for us to pull our energy back and to reassess a certain area of our life or a certain situation so that we can make it more harmonious. Now, um, the most important thing that I want you to know is that when Mercury goes retrograde, it does not create problems in your life. <laughs> what, what happens is we're going forward with our life throughout the year um, just being awesome, making cool stuff happen, and just going through life and getting stuff done. Um, as we're going through life, there are certain situations that may happen or things that we may do where it's not ideal for our life or something that becomes outdated, but we don't always have time to, or the inclination to go back and look at it. That's not bad. That doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong. It just means that you're just going through life. And when Mercury retrograde happens, it gives us an opportunity to go back and reassess something that may need to be changed in our life. So this can be a routine that you have. It can be um, a way of being in the world. It can be uh, a way that you relate to people. It can be even uh, an aspect of your work life or your career. So whatever it is, the universe is asking you to reassess this thing at this point in time because there's a need for it to change so that you can be happier and so that you can feel more fulfilled. Ultimately, that's really what it's all about. So the Mercury retrograde that happens in January 2016 is in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is all about our personal power and our inner strength. It is what allows us to be strong so that we can see, be seen out in the world and be visible. Uh, Capricorn is also related to the spiritual law of process. So that um, step by step when we take small actions that build upon one another, um, that we can be really successful. And then that creates that inner power and that inner confidence. So that's the vibe of this Mercury retrograde. So a few tips on how to handle this energy. What I want you to really think about during this time, so from January 5th through the 25th, and especially on those specific days, I want you to look at where is it that you feel like you cannot move forward? Where do you feel like you just keep trying and trying and there are roadblocks in your way? That's going to give you insight into what it is in your life that needs to be reevaluated. Um, so some of you may say, oh my gosh, Shauna, like this is several areas of my life. <laughs> if that's the case, I want you to do a little bit of contemplation on the common theme that keeps coming up with these several different situations because it's never just that your life sucks and the universe hates you. Like that is not what is happening here. You're being asked something and um, by journaling, by meditating, you can even do a collage about it, drawing if you're so inclined, sing in the shower, whatever you want to do. Um, when you contemplate about this and when you look and ask yourself, what is it that I'm being asked, you will get an answer. It's only a matter of time before you keep asking that you will get clarity around this. So that's the first thing is to really pay attention to where it feels like you're being blocked in some way or where you feel like you can't move forward. So once you identify that, you want to pull your energy back from that situation. So that means looking at it from a broader perspective. And this again, you can um, do journaling, you can do meditation, or you can just, if possible, set that situation aside for a moment and focus on something different. During Mercury Retrograde, it's really helpful to focus on um, something that brings you joy, something that's really exciting to you, especially if it's something where maybe it's a new activity or a new interest that um, that you haven't allowed yourself to indulge in in a while. Um, sometimes just trying something different can help you get that fresh perspective on that one area of life where you feel like you've just been constantly coming up against a roadblock. Um, so a good example, if you are having um, issues at work, um, maybe focusing more on your personal relationships and what is it that, that I can do to really um, connect with people 
or the opposite is you have personal relationships where you just feel like things are not working and there's a frustration there maybe you really launch yourself into your work and um, in your career or your job and um, look at okay how can I just really be very useful in this situation so it's all just about changing your perspective is really what this is about and um, I want you to know that the more that you contemplate and the more that you really pay attention to the energy that's happening. So where do you feel like you cannot move forward and where do you feel like you can move forward? Um, because this, this energy, it's subtle, but these are guidance signs. These are guidance signs from your higher self, from your internal um, navigation system, and then also guidance from the universe itself. So. Um, I hope that you found this helpful. You can find more information on um, insights on how this energy is affecting you specifically by looking at where Mercury retrograde is going through your, in your chart. Um, if you would like to have a personal reading done, I would love to help you with that to give you more specific insight. Um, if you liked this video, please share it with a friend who you think would enjoy it. I know that they would appreciate you for sharing it. And leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling. I always love to hear from you and see what you are experiencing at this point in time. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Namaste. Mwah. <laughs>